Hello and welcome, this is going to be a really quick tutorial with C-sharp guitar using signals. So what signals do is that it's another way of linking two notes together without having to do it in code. So let's start. So let's make a, as always, level one. Let's create a label. I call it zero, and let's just move it down here. Let's create a slider. And then let's just resize that, put it here. So um, using signals, I want to move this here to, and show the value here. And how I do that is make sure that whatever you're going to link up with a signal has a script on it already. So let's attach a C sharp script. And we'll call this create. Now go to your slider. You go to your nose up here, and these are your signals. So we want um, value changed, float value. You double click that. You select the label. If the label didn't have a script on it, this it wouldn't allow you to attach. So let's change this method to call slider change. Make sure you remember this because when you create it, you have to put it in here yourself. So it's public void. In Godot script, this that's done automatically for you. So this is where it differs in C sharp. And I'm gonna oh, and don't forget because it's got um, an argument. Let's just float that in here. And we and because we're in the label, we can use the text equals value dot two string. Save that script. Run it. So this is your default, and now when we move this, you can see that we're now interacting. So that's how you do it in C sharp. Um, and that's it, pretty much. So, and I'll see you later.